All right, guys, welcome back to the Shellis Field. There's a lot of love in here. We got Didi back with us. What up, Didi? Hey, y'all. What's hey. going on? <laughs> <laughs> so in tonight's conversation, we're going to talk about when is the best time to leave a relationship. Yeah, I... <sighs> Our experience. Mm -hmm. So the first question I want to ask y'all, have y'all ever overstayed y'all welcome? In a relationship. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, I did. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> um, so I think my first experience of overstaying my welcome um was given too many chances. As far as exes, I'm speaking on exes, um, giving too many chances and allowing them to overstep the boundaries that I set and me not standing on on that and standing on business and um, just not demanding my respect or just like, you know, um, <clears throat> making sure that it, it, it doesn't happen to me or if it does happen, uh, making sure a lot, not allowing it to happen again. Mm. Um, so... Just, I gave too many chances mm -hmm. and just said, okay, we'll get through it. Um, and it was bad. It made me feel really, really bad. It wasn't, um, most of the time it wasn't something that I wanted to do, but I just said, okay, history, history, the history we have in it. Oh, I don't want to start over. Not being afraid to start over, but just not feeling like starting over. Like just, mm. just at this point, just dealing with it. Um, yeah. until I got tired. Um, which I knew eventually I would get tired. So I, I wore myself out trying to make that person happy, or trying to be a a ride or die, or a a down chick, as they would say. Yeah. Um. And growing and learning, knowing that that is not okay and that is not how a human or woman should be treated, or especially your partner, you know, um, like, this not, is not you. This is not the life that you should be living. This yeah. is not things that you should be allowing in your life. Mm -hmm. um, girl, better pick up and go. <laughs> maybe maybe it's that that uh, that saying that we try to live up to that's the problem. Because why we can't rat and live? Mm. Yes, well, I we can't ride and thrive. 100%. <laughs> You're like ride yeah. and die, nigga. You I you killing me inside, low key. <laughs> we we manifesting this. <laughs> I feel like uh, feminine women stay longer. I I feel mm. like feminine women take more than what a stud uh, or masculine presenting woman would take. Uh, <laughs> I think that that's when our male Mm -hmm. <laughs> thought process kicks in because yep. we we can make women more dispensable mm -hmm. quicker Ooh. quicker than a feminine woman can unfortunately I don't even know what that means <laughs> <laughs> like you know when you dispense you take <laughs> <laughs> no it's a place. Take, I'm it, sorry. take it take it <laughs> take okay <laughs> <laughs> no, I really think I really think that um I wouldn't I I don't know if I would clarify that as some type of strength cuz to me that's a weakness to stay longer than what you're supposed to. Yeah. And I've done it. Um my only thing is I've I've never been in a relationship more than 3 years. Well, more than 4 now. <laughs> you made it to first four? it was 3. I made it to 4. Bad. But I've never I've never um, been anything in anything longer than that, which speaks a, a which speaks volume because if it's even two two three years and you stand too long, that's a that's a bad situation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because yeah. that means the newlywed type of vibe the left very stage. early. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But um, there have been many times where I felt that I was staying too long. Not many. It's been two times where I felt that I stayed too long. <laughs> no, for real. Too, it's too been many. Too, too many, though. It's been right. two times where I felt that I stayed too long and became unhappy in the situation. Yeah. Um, I can't say that it was because of the time that we, that we had because we didn't have much time. But um, 
I stayed for comfort reasons. Mm. I stayed, um, you know, you get comfortable. Like even after three, four months, you talking to somebody every day. Yeah. If that stops <clears throat> for a week routine, for me, yeah. that routine, if that stops for a week, that that's damaging. That can be for me. That's damaging to me. And it's like, okay, you know, and I'd rather not go through that damaging stage. Uh-huh. You know, so yeah. I, you know, it, it sometimes makes me settle for the situation or the relationship. Yeah, and and stay unhappy, and, and acknowledge yeah. when you can acknowledge that you're unhappy and still stay there. It's messed up, but I've definitely done it. I've done it twice, and I, like I said, once I got in that ba- in the bathroom, both situations, and looked at myself and got to talking to myself, like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's when you know, you know, it's time to go. But I would love to discuss the reasons why. But like what those, about you? Those turning points. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I didn't overstay my welcome. I've um, extended people's stay. Mm-hmm. Here you go. <laughs> I feel you though. No, because <laughs> shit, I'm ready to go. I- <laughs> 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 my tolerance level. Was super low, and you know, I bet I've been trying to work on that probably for the wrong people mm. when I started working on it. But yeah, my tolerance level is very low, and I feel like like certain things when it comes to a relationship, it shouldn't even have to be a conversation. Um, so yeah, I've definitely mm. extended people stay in my life, um, and I wasn't a hundred percent there, so it was it was. Me just, I was shit. Mm. <laughs> I used to think, <laughs> damn, maybe this lights. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was actually the women that used to make me feel bad. Like I really believe we couldn't live without me. But you they be- said you said you really believed it because they said it. Oh, so what I would do? <laughs> 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 it's the way I. See. What I would do, I'd be thinking like, I literally put this shit in music before. Like, I'm thinking I'm me doing what I'm doing on the side, but still maintaining the relationship. Mm-hmm. I thought that was the right way to do it because they really made me feel like that. Do you know all of them still breathing? <laughs> Ain't none of them. Dad killed himself. Took it. <laughs> Slice the wrist or nothing. <laughs> For real, that's how like naive or slow I was <laughs> at the time. Like I really believe that shit. Like, damn, I felt bad. Like, let me not mm-hmm. leave, but let me yep. do what I want to do mm. on the side. Mm. Yeah, I really crazy. thought I was doing the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy though. Cause you, the fact that you really believed it, what made you? <laughs> No, I'm not trying to. But what really? What made you? You? What made you believe it? Be, the light. The, besides the light skin thing, it wasn't. I know. Light skin. Skin. <laughs> it was literally me listening to them and, and believing them. But you got to be mindful, like where I came from, G. Like we don't know what how love supposed to really how it shows up. Mm-hmm. We didn't grow up under that in the household. Like to me, you know what it was. As soon as your mama said that, that poem to you when mm-hmm. you went through that in school like that's love to me mm-hmm. we didn't have none of that shit going up so you trying to figure out who's being honest and who's not because you don't know how to truly identify it mm-hmm. so you want to believe them you want to believe you're somebody that important but not realizing i didn't realize that was that shit was toxic mm-hmm. i'm i'm going through my figuring out mm-hmm. stage of my life like you go from this household that don't show you love to motherfuckers saying they love you so much they can't live without you. It's like, yeah. mm-hmm. that's a hell of an extreme. So yeah. that's the reason why I believe. <laughs> he was like, it got to be true. <laughs> it wasn't even, no, it wasn't even that. It was like, but what if it is true? It's not, it's got to be true, but what if it is true? Mm-hmm. I leave something happy to them. I got to live with that shit. Yeah. How, they all you so it. young. You was young as deep. <laughs> so <laughs> deep into this. <laughs> I was young and deep. I didn't know I was she that don't deep. Kill you, you don't know. I'm 22. Oh. She about to that ain't deep. That's slow. No. <laughs> Deeply slow. <laughs> I was deep in my slow. Deep. Yeah, I feel you. Because I definitely believed it. I feel you. 
Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know. I, I stayed for so many reasons, not just being comfortable, <clears throat> um, being complacent. I stayed for myself. <sighs> but at times, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes you don't realize that you have to go through things mm. to get through. You know, I was a I was a runner. Um when we when when we would break up and she's stuff. She's a runner, she's a track star. I was on a reel. <laughs> <laughs> I was a I was a runner though, so it took a certain it took a certain woman to make me realize that I was a runner. And I think that I would, I think her intention was a guilt trip. Of course. But I took it for something else because it was actually true. Yeah. From past relationships. And that in this particular relationship, this was like 2017 or something. Okay. And that's what really helped me realize like every, every argument you don't got to, we don't got to break up. <laughs> no, for real. I mean, we, I mean, and even in my, and that was before my engagement, even in my engagement, I still considered certain arguments as a breakup argument. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? I think it depends on what the argument is though. No, it don't. Because some things it'd be hard to just like bounce back from. It'd be like. Yeah, it do. It do, but. When I say I'm a runner, it's like without discussion, you know, so yeah, yeah without okay. sitting down and, and doing the bold points first, like uh-huh. breaking stuff down with each other, you know, and for me to be such a communicator, mm. running didn't, didn't show me communicating at all. Yeah. I even true. have that still. I don't run anymore. I just shut down now. Now I don't, I won't post. I won't, I won't do nothing. You know what I'm saying, but that's off the subject. But go ahead. <laughs> so in 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 y'all um, overstand y'all welcomes. So what was that turning point? Like, what made y'all know? Like, okay, it's it's really time to go. Mm. Oh, she cheated with my roommate, and I beat both of them up. Shows, shows, <laughs> and I was out. <laughs> like, no, you crazy. Damn. Absolutely not. <clears throat> like okay. We, like we all lived in the same house type thing. Like our bedrooms was like side by side. You know, I, 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 I Marquita know. did that before. <laughs> not <laughs> that. I'm just playing. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> she she on my girl cheating. with her roommate? Not with her room. I mean. No, I hit my roommate. <laughs> Fling. <laughs> Difference, <laughs> Fling and girlfriend are two different things. Yeah, I'm different. talking about six year girlfriend. Like, but oh. at the time it was five years. I think at the time it was five years. No, it's like five and a half years. Yeah, but yeah, that was it. I was like, all right, I can take I can take the the cheating and talking text. Okay, that's something y'all just talking communicating. Okay, cool, kill it. But okay, but physical is that's a whole nother level. We gotta. Um, whew. that was, I think at that, that particular situation, that last thing was the breaking point for that situation. It's like, okay, now you're going too far. Yeah. So yeah, let's end this, let's end this relationship and let's move on, um, in life. Um, mm-hmm. and I, I healed and moved on. Um, so it was a cheating thing for you to make you say, all right, that's it. With, with how she did it and who she did it with. Yes. With, yes. It was the cheating how and who? factors? Because she said with, she's okay with cheating. Is no, I'm not. Oh, no, she said I through, never she, said I'm she, okay. That, that is what it sounds like. But it sound you it said through text. Point. You can you can deal with no, that. No, stop it. No, in that situation, like I dealt with her uh, texting other females and okay. um, having conversation, talking to other females. But in that situation, her and those females never took it to a different level. It was just talking text, and I and I found out, and she ended it. Like, all right, cool. She won't talk in the text and those people anymore. But this particular person, it went physical. They skipped the talk and text because they was doing it in the house, I guess, when I was asleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> Bitch, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand her, man. 
<laughs> she snitching on everybody tonight. <laughs> you already told on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, <laughs> it was that. <laughs> no, nah, but um, okay. So today, would you accept the text text messages if that was yesterday? You nip the text messages in the bud today. What would you do? Um, today, right now, today, um, I mean, I'm an understanding person. Even my, my situation now, right? Um, my partner, 15 years, whereas, um, um, congratulations to that. 15 years is a long freaking time. Lord knows I can't. And it, that, that, that teaches you a lot and it makes you accept more things than shit. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Well, not accept more understanding. Okay. It, it um oh, not really accept because I'm really not <laughs> accepting that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, but to a certain extent, I'm 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 very understanding. You know, so it's um with her, you know, having a a female coworker friend, and they were you know um texting and talking. Um, no, I really wasn't with it because I'm like, okay, it's been 15 years, mm. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Why you need friends now? You know, like female friends now. No new friends. Um, no new friends. Don't right. Do that. Right. Oh, so you were no um, new friend. I'm, I'm not. Um, at first I was. Hell yeah, at first I was. Mm-hmm. But um, with growth, um, and under more understanding and like ain't that much growing up. <laughs> <laughs> with, with growth, it's just like you know, if you if 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 I come across a cool person, cool. I will, you know. If my partner it has to be across. a couple type of thing intros, you know. Uh, yes. If if it's a couple int- introduction, you know, like um, if I'm introduced properly, um, you know, if I'm if you just not telling me what you're doing, but just keeping me in the loop, like you know, hey, that leaves too much of a you you could take that anyway. Yes, too too much of a blank canvas for you to paint your own picture. <laughs> versus mm. you just telling me what the goddamn picture is. Mm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Please don't leave I me. I don't no know more. if I could deal I I personally don't know if I could deal with the extra stuff. But um it's kind of a selfish thing for me though, you know. Uh today I wouldn't do it. Yeah, back then I I would I would text everybody in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what? And if you text one person, I have a, a problem. Yeah, that's a I male, couldn't take you, it. Your male, that's that male thing kicking in again. I couldn't take it. It would be devastating. <laughs> and I'm out here with two girlfriends, <laughs> and it's like, what's wrong with you? You know, I think today, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it would go today. Today, I do a lot of assuming, man. I've been, I've been. I do a lot of assuming, but I, I do that when it comes, when you break the routine, though. That's when I start assuming. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But. And it's like, she's never, she, she's never broken any routines as, as far as my partner now. Um, she didn't break the routines. Um, she didn't, like, do anything major. She just mm-hmm. kept it from me. So that's when it became a problem. Okay. Keeping it from me. Okay. Um, openly introduction. Absolutely. Go ahead. Cool. I'm I'm cool with that because I really, 15 years. I really don't care. Even if it was two years, three years, I don't care. You I'm not I'm not a controlling person. You could have just be respectful, respect yeah. my boundaries, mm-hmm. respect our friendship first, because first we're friends and yeah. then we're partners second. So respect our friendship, respect my boundaries and our relationship boundaries. Yeah. And and if we're having dialogue and conversating and having and con- communicating about these things, and then you go and do something different, and then you keep it from me. So now I'm like, yeah, it, it can cause some trust. Now issues. you just x out all the friends that you possibly could have potentially had in the future. Now, <laughs> <laughs> if, if I decide to say, mm-hmm. that okay, then you know. Okay. Um, so do I do I accept? Um, things from um, my partner. Not now even from, today. I'm not even your partner. Just you. Just in general, no. I, I'm not from anybody. Not even just my partner. I don't accept anything from anybody. Now I really put up this wall and, and, and stood on my boundaries. And I'm really at a space like, bro, 
I'm not taking nothing. You're you're going to honor and cherish me at like I cherish and honor myself. And if I can't get that energy from you, if you're in my space and I'm uncomfortable, yeah. then that's yeah. it. And that's Man. for anybody. I'm not taking anything. That's, but that's the thing, though. That's 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 the, the the purpose of the conversation for me is, you know, it's the leaving part. You know, what was your whether you making points? making the, the right decision, whether you making the right decision. Yeah. You know, in my last situation, <clears throat> we both became unhappy. You know, on our own terms, but even after the separation. I still question just it didn't take it didn't take a long time, unfortunately, and I apologize for that, but it didn't. I just know that wasn't the space I was supposed to be in. But I definitely questioned whether or not I made the right decision because we were talking to we were engaged. So we were I'm supposed to be married today, that type of stuff. So yeah. it's like when you I get I get to questioning those type of certain endeavors we wanted to pursue. You know, and I don't yeah. have that today. And today I'm single and it makes you question like, okay, you know. But at the <clears throat> same time, I decided to leave. Yeah. I wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. I needed to leave. Yeah. You know, but I can't help but to question if it was the right decision, though. Not today, but a little bit after the breakup. Yeah, yeah. You already know what I think is factored into that. With you, because you discovered it doing a well, you know, orange. When we were talking orange, the whole abandonment. Ab that's what, issue and thing. I've been that. I'm gonna tell you something. It's a little off topic, but that's all that has been abandonment issues. Abandonment issues. I've been focusing on that for the last month because I recently went through something. I was talking to somebody, and it took me through a loophole. A, 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 fucking roller coaster for yeah. myself. Yeah. It, and I I was I was in it alone. So that is absolutely correct when you say I have abandonment issues. Even when a person don't respond to me, it's an issue for me. Mm. I think that something's up. Mm. But I'm, that's why I'm going to the joint. When, go ahead. When you say you um you make a lot of assumptions just like I was like saying a little earlier, like that blank that blank canvas, like there should be no room for if you in a, a partnership, whatever the ship is, there should be no room for me to draw up my assumptions. Yeah, like, it should be why why things just can't be communicated clearly. And I hate the mentality where when somebody think you supposed to know me, like we we are forever growing mm -hmm. as as humans. So. You think I got time to just know you, <laughs> everything mm -hmm. about you? Like, it's a reason why I'm asking this question because something feels off and uncomfortable about it. So taking that time to carve out space to let me in on what it is, I won't have this blank canvas. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm an artist, nigga. Yeah, I hear you. I, I hear am you. a creator. I, I create you. shit. And that's sometimes right. it's dark. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it a buck. And that's just, I not if I tell you that's how I operate, Communicate with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's not me that's, wanting to think negative about you. It's, yep. I'm a fucking human. Yep. That's it. It's that, that's my thing, what you said. If I'm telling you what it is, communicate it. Communicate with me. Yeah. Acknowledge it. And I'm not putting it on you. Right. You know, I'm yeah. just, I'm throwing it, throw it back. <laughs> I'm just passing it to you for a little bit. You can toss it right back to me, but that's just trying to help you into my world. If you really down for me and you trying to understand me, then this is how you do it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could say with me, um, when I knew to like just let certain situations go, I had the same problem as you, Noogie. Like, just walk away. Argument, this the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still have that problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think it's um. Well, I know, like for me. Because everything was on the flip side. I wasn't like being done dirty by like these women. It was it was me that was like still trying to grow the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That was me operating out of my insecurities and, you know, lack of self-awareness and what I wanted, lack of intention and shit. So when I started to try to be something I never invested in becoming, 
like I was trying to be mm. like perfect. I was trying to do things. That's crazy. Like Something a certain you never way. Invested yeah. In becoming. And it was always after I got caught doing the stupid shit. So yeah. it's like yeah. I wasn't really sorry for the stupid shit, but I saw how that affected you. Mm -hmm. And I got caught. And that's the reason why you affect this because I got caught. I'm not thinking about how it affects you while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, it's it it wasn't fair to them nor me because I'm not all in. Mm -hmm. And that right there is another reason why we stay because we got caught for real. <sighs> and we trying to we, we trying try to correct exactly. something that can't be that can't be corrected. It's like, it's like for like even. Like not, not even getting caught you in a relationship. Sometimes you really can't correct something that has been broken. Yeah. You sometimes even if it's, it's not no, cheating. Yeah. 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 Sometimes yeah. it's just really no getting back to that place where you were. Yeah. It's yes. a it's a matter of trying to figure out how to get to a better place or making a decision on. <laughs> yes, yeah. I can agree. Gotta let you gotta For let sure. it go because if it's not gonna be the same. Not the, even the, the situation, same, but like we can't grow from here, so we can't go from here. We That's can't, right. yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like yeah. that is some shit do be hard. It be hard. That shit be hard, man. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it does, especially if it makes you feel uncomfortable or it make you feel some type of way, and your partner wasn't or isn't trying to correct the situation. Yeah, um, you know, and sometimes even when they try. Yep. It's just Even not enough. Know. All you can, you can see read through is it, yeah. the mistakes. Yeah. All you can see is red. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I don't see red. I mm. see blue. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I was playing. I was playing. That was a left hand. That was I a was like, no, she did it. What she do? She <laughs> dropped the four. She used. Did she really just drop the four? I said, kind of sort of halfway. She didn't drop no four. Kind of sort of halfway. It's the left hand. I'm like, it's the left hand. She didn't drop no four. I mean, I see blue, but you know, I see red. At that time, yeah. at that at that no, at that moment, it's demon time. Like, stop, stop playing with me. Especially, I'm understanding partner. I'm very understanding and. And outgoing. So I'm going to let you know through the door, like, yo, just communicate with me. Like, I'm not a forceful person. I'm not going to force you to stay. I'm not yeah. going to, I'm not, and I'm not a watchful person. I'm not going to watch your every move. I don't, I don't care what you're doing. I'm not. So I'm going to, I'm going to chill and, and, and expect you to respect me behind my back. Yeah. I'm going to assume you're doing the right thing behind my back as you are in front of my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Re restate the question again for me, Marquita. That turning point when you just like no, like this. The turning point when you just like no. I think okay, because I feel like some okay. I'm gonna ask y'all this. I'm not jumping because it's still gonna you know. Ah oh, man, okay. I forgot. <laughs> No, because it's a certain way I want to say it. So okay. let's just keep talking. And I'm, I'm going to word it exactly how I want to word it. Girl. Eee. All I got to say is my next relationship is going to be past four years. Manifestation. Manifestation. My next yeah. relationship mm -hmm. will be past four years. Um, Why do you think we haven't made it? <laughs> yeah, you either, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy you, word. It why damn. You too? That's crazy. I don't know. I, I well for me, it was just a growing up thing for me. It was uh trying to find it's lately it's been trying to find the right partner. Um it's been really hard. You make certain connections with people and they just die off. <laughs> the connection just the is just human, lost. The human connection is getting weak. Yeah, it's weaker like months, each other. like you said, we don't have a high attention span. I think, and I think that certain people are applying it to relationships too. Mm. And that's a Pisces trait. We wishy washy. We turn it on. We turn it off. Damn, that's not a trait that I feel that I carry anymore. You know, so. I don't know, man, but I know this time I'm trying. I'm really just trying to take my time, man. I'm gonna try to take my time. So staying in a relationship, a lot of people like to factor in time. 
Yeah. And the reason why they hold on, like, we'll see certain celebrity couples going through a divorce. They've been together 13, 20 years. Yeah. Do you think factoring in time should be a a thing that make you decide to stay in a relationship? The time, like the time invested. Um, For me now, no, because it's like, um, I don't care how much history and memory we, memories we have, right? Mm -hmm. Right now it's about respect Trust, loyalty, honesty, what we're building, what how we're, what the growth is, are, what we have to offer each other, what we're going to do, um, you who, know. And who just, set you up? <laughs> no, for real, she just gave the, she just, you just said you was peaceful. G. You just said you was peaceful. <laughs> I am. I just talk with my hand. You know? too, but like and, I, and I, when I talk, you know, I'm passionate about the things, you know, when I'm talking, so I just be like, you know. It was you um, like. <laughs> yeah, she fuck went you. over there. I tried to get the mic. She said, right? Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Because I don't like DSLs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo. Oh, Yo. okay. I quit. All right. Um, so yeah, it's just like now. It's just like no, you gon' you 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 have to sh you have to show me. Um, your actions have to start speaking louder than your words because mm -hmm. your words now means in nothing for me. So now it's based off actions, and mm -hmm. and if and if your actions aren't doing what they're supposed to do, then yeah. it's, mm -hmm. I don't I don't care how much time is invested. Yeah. I don't I don't care because it's about me, us, and where we going. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are moving today off of uh, it's more so about the actions than words. Words yeah. could back. Uh, I say even a few years ago, <laughs> words could get, get you through ass. all types of things. Yeah. This game is having a mouthpiece and stuff. Um, in my last relationship, that was always thrown in my face. Well, toward the end, it was thrown in my face in regard to actions speak louder than words, and I had to say to myself, they do. And that's why I'm acting like this. Mm. That's why I'm acting like this. Or were you reacting? Mm. Mm, what they doing? That mm. we were just watching. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. It's like, but I had to. That they do though. They do speak louder than words. So if a of person course. wants to talk to you, they're gonna call you. If a person wants to love you, they're gonna love you. If they want to be faithful, they're gonna do that. Yes. It's all about action. It is and it's thing. nothing words ain't shit no more. I don't mean to cut you off. No, G, go ahead, Because you know the way my brain No, works. go ahead. My thing is if you know to say it, nigga, you know to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That means you know what to do. Exactly. If you if you know to say it. You mm -hmm. know what to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just ain't the person they really want to do that shit for. Yeah. So I feel yep. like when it comes to yep. our breaking points, like when we know this shit done, mm -hmm. everybody's shit different, right? Because I feel like we don't let people beat us up worse than we beat up ourselves. Mm -hmm. So when it gets to that point where you beat me up more than I beat up my motherfucking self, you got to go. And I think a lot of us don't even realize that mm -hmm. we got these like other issues that keep us in situations that we need to deal with. And if we deal with that shit, them people would have been gone. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to myself. Mm -hmm. I hear you on the real. Ooh. It just take me back to <laughs> abandonment issues. <laughs> yeah. For real though. Because we, we could talk shit all day. Confidence, we this, we we know, whatever. But if you really want to gauge where you at and how you see yourself, pay attention to the shit you tolerate. Mm -hmm. As yeah, soon as they break that. How, that that line where you beat up yourself. Because, you know, if I feel like I'm only worth this, right? Mm -hmm. If you treat me within that bracket, you stay longer. As soon as you break that line, Mm -hmm. Did you beat me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> People that stay in abusive relationships, like think about it. Like they might not be physically abusing themselves, but they don't see themselves being worth more than what they're accepting. Mm -hmm. They beat themselves up different. It's just this person is showing it in a different way. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you you overstep that line that I gave myself. <clears throat> That's why, Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, For real. yes, 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 and no. Yes, I agree. Oh, and what's the no? no what's the no? I love uh, it. It's on the real, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, the yes and no. The no is um, yes. You gonna you want to cut them off because they stepped over that line. Um, your your boundary line, right? Not the bound. No, no, no. Not the boundary line. I think that's where your no coming from. I'm not saying boundaries. We don't have them. I'm saying it's we only allow people to beat us up as much as we beat up ourselves, even though it's coming in a different way. Mm -hmm. As soon as they beat us up worse than we beat up ourselves, mm. I'm not talking about a boundary. That's a, that's different. Now you're getting healthy on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting healthy on me. I'm talking about when that shit don't exist, but it's, you know you only handed what you're capable of handling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when, when you get beat up worse than you beat up yourself, it's like, oh, it's like a wake up, talk to yourself in the mirror type shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes. Not a boundary, though. So you if you still got to know today. <laughs> Damn. That's cool. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't? What, what, what know, was your no going to be, though? I know I said line, and that's probably what confused you, but I meant like our tolerance line for ourselves. Like, gotcha. We talk, some, some of us talk to ourselves a certain way. Yes. You could tell by like, our daily routines, in my opinion, like how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so that's what I mean. Like, if if you pushing past what I do to myself, mm -hmm. gots to go. Well, yeah, when it gets to that point, I, I say absolutely, yeah. When you tired, you tired. And I don't I don't advise anybody walking away before they actually done. Cause you come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't do the comebacks. So when I do, when I when I finally when I walk away, um, I mean, I would, so it take you it would, take you something to walk away. Um, take a minute because of understanding, because of whatever. I'm sorry. Go. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's like me. Just, just people are human. So I see exactly. people are human. Everybody make mistakes. So. Um, I don't mind giving chances or giving person the benefit of the doubt. Me either. Um, just, just to be, just to, just to not prove, but show a person how open and understanding I am. Just to show them, like, look, you got it. I'm open. I'm understanding. All you have to do is do what you got to do. The right thing. Do what you have to do because I'm already giving you the leeway. Uh, the leeway that you have. Go ahead. It's open. Go ahead and do it. But mm. when you don't do that, it's when it becomes. Yeah. A big deal. Okay. There, I, I used to think there was no coming back for me. It depends on how deeply connected I am to the person. Because I, I don't do comebacks with everybody. Right. Come back for what? You gave them a chance. I did come back. I did come back. I did come back. I ain't did come backs recently in my latter latter years. <laughs> I didn't. You know, I've, I back so, then it was a bunch of back and forth for the comebacks. What did what did you see differently in that person that you thought in your head? Okay, maybe we can try it again. It, mm. it don't be that. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. It be. I think, okay, so with any relationship, I think your village is important. Mm -hmm. Like the people that's like around you. Around. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like when you go red and Nuki in the blue, <laughs> she, <laughs> she might be able to see something you didn't see. Mm -hmm. So in y'all conversations, you learn you have to be a little bit more patient. Your path was different from this person. Um, mm -hmm. Shit. It it be other things that I factor in, not that it was like if this person changed, because it don't be like no with my comeback. This this was the only time. This mm -hmm. is the only time. Let me get Nuki and nobody. <laughs> no, <laughs> I had a comeback. Who? BFF. I had a comeback with. Oh, uh, uh, the other one too down the street when you moved down the street. That one, that was me coming back, not allowing her to come back. Oh, you talking, talking about allowing her to come yeah. back? Yeah, oh, that no. was me coming back because I messed. Up. No, right. <laughs> she no. let me back. <laughs> she did. No. Yeah, man. I don't have comebacks. This this is my only comeback. Like my, mm -hmm. yeah, that's this my only comeback. So 
it be the 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 lack of relationship experience, mm -hmm. um, the deep connection mm -hmm. is way and bigger than just course. me and her. Yes, yes. it goes way deeper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's is yeah, it's it's just it's crazy, and also like. I asked, I, I've been asking myself, like, well, I put out there to to people, like, when you weighing pros and cons, like, stop looking at the number of pros, mm -hmm. but, like, or the number of cons to make a decision, be like, is the weight of these cons mm -hmm. worth sticking around? Yes, that's what I do. Yes. For the pros. Yes. The weight, like, so, it could be one con that's so fucking heavy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it just outweighs outweigh the all of them. all yes. the fucking pros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard being a human, making decisions, feeding off, going off of emotion, going off logic, going going off anything. It's 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 hard making these decisions, trying to see what's best for you. Yeah, or your partner if you care that much. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy, man. And I think that's why I'm so understanding and so open when you um see when you witness or um know what a, everything a person's been through. You just mm -hmm. be like, yeah. it makes you extend that stay and that heart and that love. It just Passion, it makes you extend. Grace. Yes, and you just yeah. Ooh. And right. it really it, it really don't be that bad at the at the end, at of, the the end day. of the day. You no, know, it really don't be that bad. Mm -hmm. That's good because you you really accepting them for who they are and allowing them to grow at their own it's, it's pace. Though. At their own pace, because yes. everything is a lesson. If if it was something that they did or wanted to do, if it affected them or the or their partner, mm -hmm. and they react to it, mm -hmm. then it's, you can take that as an advantage. You know, mm -hmm. if they take that as the learning experience and move forward exactly. with an understanding woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so that would be an answer why why we why we do stay long because because you understand it. because you know your partner at times too. You know, but like, oh little yellow bus, <laughs> little yellow bus. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> oh, the short little yellow bus. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> How much time we get? Because I sometimes so some things I feel like when you love somebody, it should just come natural. Like, I don't think everything should be, a, or certain things should be a conversation. I, I don't agree. think certain things should be a conversation. Yeah. You need to, you're supposed to know your partner. Go. Yes, you should. <laughs> you're supposed to know your partner, especially if it's been a lengthy, a lengthy right. time. Yeah. With engagement, marriage, relationship, whatever. It's just like... You should. This, What's a lengthly time we, for you? We forever did we make them. it past lengthly time? Yeah, four years or better. Absolutely. Oh, we just made y'all just y'all just made it <laughs> <laughs> at that y'all made it at and that then mark. it ended <laughs> and then it, you know. we was at the beginning of making it and that shit yeah. ended crazy work. Oh shit, boy. <laughs> and it, and especially anything over a decade, it's like you should you should know this, mm -hmm. like but, for real. Even with everyday that's growth. That's a time stamp right there. Get, can get, you leave after a decade? Um, You can, absolutely. Yeah. You can leave after 20 years. Absolutely. <laughs> you can leave after 15 years. You can. You know? So, again, just just yeah. because you're understanding and open does does not mean you're going to um uh, con allow or continue to be so open and understanding. Um. And you can understand from afar. You can, absolutely. So would y'all say that there's cuddling within relationships? Coddling? My, my bad, not cuddling. Oh, it's say, definitely, yeah, like, it's definitely cuddling. cuddling. My bad. It's like, what? Nikki. Uh, <laughs> would y'all say that it's coddling within relationships? Within our same-sex relationships? Coddling. Mm. Coddling. That's a good question for the both of you. <laughs> Ooh. Coddling. Mm. Leo, you got an ending question, but can I, I do, do an ending end question one. before your ending question? Yeah, let's All go. Right. Mm. <laughs> Coddling. <laughs> they <laughs> stuck, y'all. The Leos kind of stuck. Because they're the coddlers. Let me, let I me tell you. They're coddlers. Yeah, queen. <laughs> you let me, I but here's, here's the thing, though, if, because I think in a relationship, 
you should treat your partner to where you see them going. Okay. Because they they will have something to live up to. Like, I think, okay, I heard somebody say this before, and I truly believe that. They say, little boys grow through challenge. Little girls grow through praise. Mm. You compliment a little girl. It could be constructive criticism. It ain't, I ain't talking about challenging a little boy. It's like harsh. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We, it's pushing us different. Let's say me and you bench pressing. If, if, <laughs> If I'm spotting you, I'm going to be like, oh, shit. Okay, I said, I think mm-hmm. you had like one well, more in you. But if it's a boy, though, I'm going to be like, oh, sh- nigga, this is nothing. This pool. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it in a different way where it's like, Man, it's, oh, you can go hard. But mm-hmm. I'm going to word it different, but it's still, I'm praising you, mm-hmm. I'm, but I'm challenging him in a different way to push him to, either way you push him both today, potential. And I feel like in a relationship, you should treat up here. And it also protects your karma. <laughs> so for real, like if you showing up at your best, you not do- down talking your partner. Like mm-hmm. you constantly motivating them, uplifting them. You seeing them. If that shit fail, I play my part. Mm-hmm. I play my motherfucking part. Mm-hmm. I, I it's it's kind of like the Prince E A on YouTube. Whenever y'all get some time, he breaks down how an airplane goes against the wind in order mm-hmm. to take flight. And that's how we supposed to treat any human being that we love in our life. Like mm-hmm. that up, even though they might be, you always treat them up. That gives them something mm-hmm. to aim for. If you, I'm a, we Leos. Mm-hmm. As soon as you let me know you see me, I do more for you. Mm-hmm. As soon as mm-hmm. I feel appreciated, everything like, baby, I, Sometimes I'm still on go. I'm still on do it. Absolutely. It's but when you take that time out, <laughs> it gets a little bit more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's more. It's more. Yeah, because you giving me something to hold myself up to, a higher standard to hold myself for, up to. For like, you to, oh, to shit. beat that. Now you got to beat this. Yeah. You Leos, go ahead, Dee. No, that's I'm just you gonna. I, I agree with her for for real. Mm-hmm. Um, if you see, if you um see or get that um. Feeling from that person, you just it makes you like, man, I'm really like, okay, come on, let's do this. Yeah. Um, and if you're you're motivating that person um to do better, even after, you know, mishaps in the relationship, you still look past that and you still praising and motivating them and or trying to inspire them to still be the best version of themselves, even if they had a hiccup in life with themselves or, you know, in their situation. Um yeah. So you guys are chance givers. Right. Yeah, I am. I said that. I'm a I'm a big chance giver. I, I get Where you get that from us praising our parties? Because you said it ain't that's I mean, I didn't take I didn't use the praise part. I took another thing. Oh. You okay. know, giving them chance, giving them the chances. But this is recent for me. Is it's new. It's new for you. Yeah, and it's weird because my walk away game cold uh-huh. and then it's Mm-hmm. And I will sometimes I do walk away like way too fast, mm-hmm. like without it right. being a conversation, and we just back. So maybe this you is uh, uh, something is something else, cause just walking away ain't that ain't it. Yeah, I try to breathe through um, like certain certain situations. I do. Okay. What was your question? Uh, what are some of the misconceptions of our zodiac sign <laughs> of the Leos? <laughs> Yours too. Oh, misconceptions of of me, Pisces. I for what I see, I they be like Pisces are like um dogs. They do say y'all be lying. They like they be like Pisces are like liars. I be like they say we are too though. So, but they no. I at least they seen. at least they correct themselves and say the Leo men. I see a oh, yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. the Leo men. They do they, like. they 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 don't say the we the Leo women are like huge on lying. They always pinpoint and yeah. say, well, the Leo men are the liars. That's true. That's I'm gonna say this, um, Pisces. Yeah, we are great liars. We can get away. My daddy used to say. I used to I used to lie all the time to my daddy if something happened, something happened in the crib. I'd be like, I didn't do it. He'd be like, every time you say you didn't do it, you did I know it. You did. I know you did it. Cause I'd be like, I didn't do it. I know when I did that it. That means you ain't great. 
No, no, that was my daddy though, because he—that was my father. But with the women, <laughs> that was something totally different. Here we go with this. That was something totally different. I always thought that I was a, a great liar. I ain't trying to tell on myself because it's nothing to tell. I, I would, I today I choose to lie or I choose not to fucking lie. I don't lie. I don't have to lie. But if I choose to lie, I'm gonna get away with it. Pisces are liars. Pisces are good liars. Damn. We are good. I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> Come, come to me and tell me that we not Pisces. We are. Damn. Yeah, because I don't be feeling when they be like the, when they do be like the Leos are liars, and I have to say like the men. But when I be saying I'm saying the men, because I'm like I don't have to lie. I don't lie about nothing. I tell you the truth. I say what I want to say. I tell you how I feel. I let you know through the door. Like mm. lie for what? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. who are you? <laughs> yeah, today I just I choose not to not to do that. It's not. It's a choice. I could I could do either or. I I think uh, with me, just being a human. It's a we big talking ass, about. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying I'm, that I'm just. Okay. Let me break it down. Like it's a big ass difference between when you say we're liars. That's a lie. Do we lie sometimes? <laughs> Human shit. Yeah. Like who the fuck? Do, I'm gonna lie to get out of some shit. If I'm in trouble. Small like things. police, whatever. Like work. Mm-hmm. If I lie on the application. Mm-hmm. Fuck you talking about? Like, as a human, yeah, we all lie. But to call somebody a liar, that's a fucking pattern. Like that's a. That's yes. an issue. Yeah. That's an issue. And I don't think we're that. Like, I used to be very upfront about a lot of shit. Okay, I got tricked again. I went. <laughs> <laughs> I used to feel bad for telling the truth. <laughs> hey, They've been tricking us. I, I, did, I didn't rob them of their freedom of choice until mm-hmm. I started feeling bad about being straight up about certain shit. Okay. I dialed back a little bit. Didn't lie. I just kept shit to myself. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm keeping it a buck with you, and then when when certain shit get questioned, I lied about it. So yeah, period. I want to say the <laughs> I you. thought I was protecting feelings. Oh. Whole yeah. time I'm robbing you of your freedom of choice, and I didn't know right. that. Mm-hmm. So I want to say the uh, the dog thing. We not dogs. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that I mean I'm serious. Even even in, and I always say I was a dog. <laughs> I always say that, but the in the the hind side of of everything, we are fairy tale. We are fairy tellish. Period. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Everything is a fairy tale for us. So I think that it's hard for us to be dogs in the midst of being in a fairy tale. Yeah, you okay. know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that dogs. A dog is something that. It's an individual characteristic. Yeah, it is. You know, I wouldn't pinpoint that on um, on Pisces. I wouldn't put that on Pisces. I, that's a choice. They be talking about the men. Maybe they, men just liars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For real. Maybe they are. Fuck them. <laughs> hey. Fuck them. You know? But <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't... Liars... What was your question again? Say that again. Some what of the mis- the, misconceptions, misconceptions, but apparently of, y'all, the, of the Leo, y'all aren't <laughs> just no, with the lion thing, though. I mean, I'm I don't know. I know some of the Pisces that I know. We are we are we can yeah, good liars. My mama would and tell you I'm a good liar. They said we controlling. So I, mm. I like the fact that you said mm. I'm not controlling. I'm like that's one of the misconceptions of Leo. I'm mm-hmm. like control what. Right. I think y'all are. I, I, I give you freedom. <laughs> I give you all the freedom you want. I'm like the total opposite. Like, no. Go, please. Go. I want to give you the rope to hang yourself. <laughs> now, I don't do no no new friends because I well, think it's weird. I would never take on like a feminine yes. girl as a friend at this stage of my fucking relationship. Like, no. I think it's, that you guys, uh, the control thing is just misconstrued. I believe that you guys are just leaders. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I believe that people misunderstand that yeah. for, for control. Because yeah. I, I take both of you guys as, as leaders. So it's not control. It's just you taking the control forefront. the situation. To, yeah, they, and, and leading yeah. in the direction of how it should be or how... Because ain't nobody else probably doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a Leo takes it upon themselves to do so. Attention yes. seekers. That one kills me kills because me I don't time. I don't care I don't pay attention to nobody. <laughs> I naturally get attention, and that's just something I can't control. Right? Here, here go the Leo. See, they like, go. It's I'm natural. Just saying, it's literally natural. I literally it on is. a day in day out basis be minding my business, and my partner gets so upset because I get so much 
attention and I'm not even aware. And she'd be like, see, you ain't even see. He been watching you the whole time. That's or crazy. Been saying you the whole time. That you didn't. You're right. I didn't even see because I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention to you. <laughs> I, so I, gotta, I, I get penalized for me getting natural, nigga. unwanted attention. I, I gotta vouch for the both of y'all. I ain't never I want this situation like, for that. look at me. <laughs> I'm in this bitch. Like, no. It's literally an aura thing where people naturally gravitate to our fucking light. Like, I don't even like being around humans. I don't. I just naturally get attention when I'm in the building. Marquita used to be like that. She liked being around humans now. She, you still don't? Girl, I'm worse. You, well, you're a great actor. I'm worse. Oh, you an actress. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's more so like if the energy right, I could be social with the right people. You Cordial. know, how, yeah, you know how people be yeah. like, oh, I'm a I'm an introvert, I'm an extrovert. Mm-hmm. I could say I'm, I'm more like Amby because mm-hmm. it depends on the energy in the room. Because yes. I would sit and be quiet and read the room first. That's but what as soon we do. as I pick up on good energy, then yeah, I can be social then. Like, but mm-hmm. I don't gee, I don't be paying no attention to my motherfuckers. I hear feedback from people like certain people who go to the gym because I go there. They was like, yo, you so kind, your smile, your energy. It just makes us want to show up to this bitch every day. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't even work here. I, <laughs> I just work out here in this motherfucker. But mm-hmm. it's, it be the, if people see me and that I don't even see sometimes, yeah. G. Did he say, say that? Didi say that to me a lot. Yeah, that's crazy. It's an or it's just Didi gee, we the that. only zodiac that's that's crazy. that's ruled by the sun. The only zodiac ruled by the, you know how powerful the fucking sun is. Gee? Mm-hmm. You can't help but to see that bitch. It's just rising. It ain't thinking about your head. Mm-hmm. It's just doing its job. So are you trying to tell me that you guys are what that that you guys are the sun? I, I said yeah. we are the only zodiac that's ruled by the sun. <laughs> We just have a very strong presence and people mislabel that as us seeking attention because people just naturally gravitate toward us. Mm-hmm. That is not seeking shit. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I mean, used to hide in the strangers gym. all day walk up to me telling me their entire life Yo, story. Since I was and I just, Yes. And I'm just like, whoa, you know. So growing and learning more about, you know, my our sign and, yeah. you know. Um, the energy that we bring when we step into a building or just just the aura that people, you know, feel. It's just, I don't I just, I'm definitely not a just attention seeker, though. Like, Because what the fuck you want? <laughs> am I, I, photo, you am guys, I photogenic? Absolutely. I love taking pictures. That's what I love to do. I think you you guys' confidence <laughs> just comes off as such. Because, y'all know, like, Leos are my favorite people. Mm-hmm. So, like, my two favorite people are in the room right now. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got... <laughs> Two of my favorite people, but the Leos, this is my representation. I got another sister that's a Leo. Happy birthday, Gigi. But I think that you guys are just misunderstood. Yeah. You know, I think that the confidence comes off as that, as thinking you the shit or thinking you whatever, thinking my- you know it all. I think I get yes. a lot of, uh, it'd be a lot of misconceptions about the Leos. <laughs> and I'd be like, no. I mean, I don't know at all, but I'm very knowledgeable about a lot of things because I do research and I read and I know what I know. (laughs) So what's up? (laughs) What are you saying? It wasn't the confidence. We got Mother Earth and Sister Earth (laughs) over here right now. (laughs) Mother Earth and Sister Earth in the building. It was to me. Okay, with me, it wasn't confidence for a long time. It was protection. See, and people don't understand that. You got to hear that. Yeah, it's because when they think, because I swear to God, I dated most of the women I dated because they they thought people viewed me a certain way or they saw the attention that I didn't fucking see or cared about that never penetrated me. And they tried to downplay me, not realizing I was already downplayed Mm -hmm. through my fucking upbringing. Like, Mm. you looking surface on how you... You see the attention, right? So you think, I think a certain way about myself because of this attention. Yep. yep. No, mm-hmm. bitch, I'm struggling yep. in this motherfucker. So I dealt with women that tried to downplay me. I Shit, I was brought up in a household where we, that's how we loved each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it was like, it wasn't confidence for me. It was protection because, yeah, they would definitely try to beat your ass down if they saw you in a certain light. 
And you know, I don't. Yeah, that's and that's one one thing with me. How I <clears throat> just think I'm different and set. You know, myself outside of others. Like um, besides that moment in my life where you know he roasted me, dang, you roasted me when I was little. Like I've never allowed anyone to take my confidence from me. Like. I don't care if I, I and I lived in a project, we lived in a project, so I don't care where I came from, what I went through in life, uh, what I didn't have. Um, I always embrace my upbringing, and I always pay homage to my parents, and I'm always just like, yo, I am that girl. I am it, and I just don't care. So I really appreciate um, the experiences in life. Yeah. Um, and just the lessons that I was grateful enough to be taught by my parents. And um, my second mom, I always call my <laughs> sister my second mom because she really, um, really played a huge, had a huge impact on my life and my um, lessons I've learned up, bringing ups, downs, and rounds. Like we experienced it together. So she's a part, of, a lot of my confidence um, of me just living life and living life in peace no matter what the circumstances are. Mm-hmm. Nothing bothers me. I yeah. get through it. I write, I read, I pray, and I let it go. I and can say just... that both of you relate. I, both of y'all have the same characteristics. Y'all birthdays are a day apart. Yeah. <laughs> so, so y'all definitely have the 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 same. Some of the same characteristics. Your strength, your communication, your honesty, your loyalty, all of that shit. That's what makes me makes y'all my favorite people in the world. You know what I'm saying? Besides my Pisces mm. and, <laughs> and my one Taurus, Virginia. But you you guys, y'all, y'all rep the same thing. But let me ask y'all, you, we was talking, I gave y'all some of the misconceptions. Y'all got are there any misconceptions about the Pisces? Um, that y'all dogs. They really be dogging y'all out. Like y'all really be out here dogging people out. And I'd be like, no. I know a few Pisces and they not no dog ass Pisces, you know, like they don't be don't dogging no people out. So I think they really no no dogs. I don't know what a dog Are is. Are y'all fruitful when it comes to, to fruitful? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but y'all not what dogs. What you mean by that? <laughs> you know, always I fruitful. Used to love, I love people. I used to love <laughs> Pisces women. They just didn't love me back. I love oh. the whole Fairy tell shit. I did. No, you nigga. ain't give me. I don't want no yo cooch. Nigga, you bad not. I wanted they cooch. Oh, I wanted to make. A, I don't want to. I don't want to stop you. But, and they're mine. Ugh. Right. <laughs> because I was talking when we were talking about when we had that ending question for the stud for stud thing. Mm-hmm. I had said. Or the not the was it the stud? I don't know. The last episode that just aired, and yeah. I was talking. We were talking about studs with studs, and I said I got my own. I don't want anybody to think that <laughs> I had a crush on her. The other two, I did have a crush on. I never had a crush on Marquita. I just wanted her to be my friend. So I, I when I Somebody talked said about that? no, no, no. Oh, I just oh, okay. I when I was looking at it, I was like. You look gay as hell. So I ain't taking it. Just. I was hoping that I knew you, you didn't, but I just want people to know. I didn't mean that you weren't in that category. Yeah. You were in the more more of the I need to know how I'm going to be in her life type of type of shit. Okay. That's it. But go ahead. Okay. No, no more misconceptions about the Pisces. No, I, shit, no. I love Pisces women, but I was delusional. You with said you ain't get the like, coochie. I like fairy tale land too. So. Do you? The, I don't the, think, I the think... level of cre- creativity I've been around with, like Pisces feminine women, mm-hmm. it's ridiculous. It's so fucking artsy. Like artsy. you just, mm-hmm. how could you not fall in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because my two feminine Pisces, I'd be like, y'all are so. I used to. I feel like I used to be like that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the way they decorate, they the cribs, way everything, like, and not to and say nature. names, but Tanisha and <laughs> Tiffany. When I tell you, my these two Pisces are so creative, mm-hmm. it's crazy. I'm not lying. Yeah, I'd be like, it. what the fuck? I go to them for everything. Yeah, I love it. For real. I love Y'all it. Y'all ready? That's that. Yeah. Okay, this, account, this kind of a serious ending question, okay? Okay. This is from uh, Phoenix.Marie. What's up, G? <laughs> nah. <laughs> but what's up, girl? Um... <laughs> She said, may I ask if you will talk about handling grief and how it affects so many people in different ways. Not enough people talk about it. Just throwing the topic out there. I lost my mom and keeping this family going is hard. Okay. Y'all want me to go? Yeah, you go. 
I'm still going through it. Um, I don't realize until I have these random moments where like God make me get it off of me. Uh, like literally, like just two days ago, I was crying like super fucking hard, mm. super hard. Like <sighs> once Danielle and Daddy passed back to back like that, I started to. I went down this like dark path. Um, but that, that experience made me make peace with death. Um, it's just, it's, I got so many things going on in my life. I wish they was around for. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. looking at like Danielle's circumstances, this nigga drove you to this? Mm. <sighs> <laughs> like just paying attention to the details of it. Um it's kind of what trips me up a lot. Mm. And just wanting them around. The people that you lose that you love, when they die, they're free. Yeah. We ain't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I we still gotta figure out bills. <laughs> uh they bills. No, I'm just they <laughs> We just still got to <laughs> exist with other humans who don't give a fuck about the humans. Like, yes. we still here figuring it out, and they're free. Yeah. They're free from all of this shit. They free from human opinions. They free from fucking bills. They free from trying to figure this life shit out, purpose, everything. Yeah. They free from the government. They're... <laughs> <laughs> oh Sorry. It's they, true. They're free. <laughs> And that's just the truth. They should be crying for us. And they don't want us to die with them. Mm -hmm. It's a reason why we still got to be in this bitch. We ain't, <laughs> we ain't fulfilled our purpose yet. We're not done. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out a way to live. Let them live through you, but they free. You still got a purpose to serve. And uh, it, it, here's the here's here's going to be the part that might not sit well with your spirit, but it's some it's some honesty for your ass. Sometimes we lean on our loved ones so much, we attach everything to them. We lean on that shit so hard, we manifest them being gone. Mm. Just just think about this, right? I know people that don't know how to do shit without a loved one. Mm -hmm. And in order for them to grow up, God had to remove that loved one. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That safety net be hindering y'all fucking growth. When y'all lean on people so hard, mm -hmm. y'all don't realize how y'all damn near be helping them to the grave. Yeah. And it's crazy you say that because nowadays and for a very long time, um, I've learned to... Um, um, just attach myself from my loved ones, especially the ones I love to, the most. The um, I'm learning to to fall back, and my my mind process is um, we're here for a short time, not a long time, mm -hmm. um, and we live to die, and that day is coming soon, you know. So um, I just take my attachments away and just. Prepare for the worst, yeah. and that's how that's Damn, how I bad. that's how I that's, that's not, how I'm in how that's how I live. That's how I get through it, that's and that's you know how I just the uh, word and <clears throat> prepare for the worst. It's, yeah, it's you you me. expect the best, but mm -hmm. if you prepare for the worst, I got y'all because I don't want to. I don't want to die with, with the, yeah. So I my mentality is hey, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Well, for me, <clears throat> uh, my family didn't deal with death for a very long time. Many uh, years. The first major death that I can remember was in 1990, and my Uncle Melvin passed. I was 10 years old. Um, 91, I'm sorry. I was 11. Um, I took that hard as hell. I was very young. I, you know. People misjudge kids. We understand everything, you know. So I understood mm -hmm. death. I understood that he wasn't going to be 
there with us anymore and the way that he was taken away from us was really tragic and it was really um it was really ser something serious for our family that we our family had to deal with or whatever and after that that's I want to say um, two months later I lost my aunt um my cousin Michelle lost her mother Michelle was like five or six mm -hmm. so <clears throat> That right there, we didn't take that well at all. But after that, we didn't have any deaths in our family until my grandmother passed. And my grandmother passed in 2017, mm -hmm. December, Christmas Eve. Mm. And she stayed in uh she stayed in Phoenix. And it's crazy that Phoenix Marie sent the sent the, the question. But my my grandmother passed. She was 91 years old. I didn't accept it. I accepted it. But what made it easier for me to accept was the fact that she she lived yeah, her life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 91 years. So that's a, long time. that's a very long time. And um Angel, my grandmother yeah, passed of a heart attack, a massive heart attack. And it that took a toll on on me. But when I when I look back on the funeral and the process, how, you know, looking at her in the casket. And things like that. Uh, I accepted it. I accepted it with. I didn't. I didn't cry as much as I did when my <clears throat> uncle Melvin passed in ninety one, because I was happy that she lived that life. Mm -hmm. I was happy that she made it to ninety one years. Yeah. Like ninety one. What What else can you do, Grandma? I mean, hundred is great. But then a couple years, then then uh, then uh, COVID hit, the pandemic hit, and when COVID hit, my mother my mother lost all of her siblings, all of them. <laughs> so that was even easier for me to take because there's no need for us to be selfish. We got to live. I got to live 40, 42 years. I'm about to cry. It's okay. <laughs> 42 years with my uncles and my auntie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was for me, dealing with it was I didn't want to be selfish about it. And I wanted to let my family know that we had our family for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I was 42 when I lost my last uncle, Uncle Michael. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, that was hard for the whole family because, you know, everybody got their favorite uncle. <laughs> and that's, that's who that was. And it's still hard today to, to accept it. Yeah. So, but I, can, but I can say with a smile that I won't. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> don't ever apologize for that. For real. I can say with a smile that I appreciated all the time that I got with my uncles and my auntie and my grandma, everybody. And, you know, I don't take life for granted. And yeah. without taking life for granted, I may get to 91 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I may get to 91 years. And the fact that my uncles and my auntie was able to bury their mother before she buried them, like Uncle yeah. Melvin, is also a blessing. Yeah. yeah. So um, I deal with it in my own ways. I still mm -hmm. cry today. Mm -hmm. I still think about everybody in my own way. Certain things, you know, you got to keep their memory alive in certain ways, mm -hmm. in your own way. You know, so I, I, I would say that I, I just deal. I just deal, but I, I deal with it in a, in a positive manner, though, yes. not in a negative manner. It wasn't a loss. It's a celebration of life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I beauty. also want to say I, we lost my stepfather, too, in mm -hmm. the midst of all of this. So, yeah, it's been a lot of loss. We lost, like, in the last four years, we lost, like, five or six people. Yeah, six people. Six so I don't know that that showed that showed me that I have a certain strength mm -hmm. when it comes to life and understanding 
life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I try not to take it take it for granted. So you 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 hit something that was like super important when you said you ain't want to be selfish. And I don't, like I said, I don't think a lot of us realize how selfish we are uh, when it comes to our loved ones. Like somebody could be suffering, G. Vegetable. Yeah. We holding on to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're not living a, like, a life of quality, why you want your loved ones around and they don't have the quality mm-hmm. yep. of life anymore? And we yep. would literally hold on because we <clears throat> so used to experiencing them in a physical form, we don't even realize how selfish we're being. Mm-hmm. Danielle was suffering. Yeah. Daddy was tired. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you told me about Danielle, because, you know, that was my baby. <laughs> and that's what you told me, like, she was suffering, you know, and yeah. you took, I, I, I was, I was really, uh, I was mad I couldn't be there for you because you was in a, you was somewhere else. You couldn't mm-hmm. even, you know, so it was like, dang. You you were by yourself yeah. dealing with a loss. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I've never dealt with a loss by myself. You know, so we got everybody got our experiences. Yeah, we got to appreciate our experiences with people, man. What did they teach you? Like, how can you fuel your purpose off that, like, moving forward? And I, I use... Well, I'm still kind of jealous of y'all family dynamic, but not jealous. You were gonna tell me. You gonna tell me not to say jealous. Now. No, I'm saying like being honest, but not mm-hmm. right. Like y'all closeness probably would have took me out the game if I experienced those losses. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. But because we was already conditioned to be a little disconnected. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's bittersweet. Up. That's bittersweet right there. Would I be able to say the same shit <laughs> yeah. that I'm saying right now? Like, yeah. me making peace with death. And it, I have my moments where it just hit me because you could tell my ass is always moving, doing something, doing something, doing something. And not allowing myself to feel through it. Feel your way through it. Daddy mm-hmm. face sitting right there. Mm-hmm. You know how long it took for me to put that fucking picture up? Yeah. Uh-huh. Ooh. It took me a minute. I'm like, I don't even know if I want to be that vulnerable right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Allow yourself to feel, appreciate your experience, realize when you're being selfish, realize when you're attaching and leaning on your loved ones a little bit too fucking hard. And realize what you said at first. They free. they free. They free now. They're free. They crying. They crying over us. Like, these niggas still got to see it. Still down there. I can't even rest no- in peace. <laughs> Down there with them DSLs. Watching this shit. That's what Daniel say. Danny, Danielle say. <laughs> SSLs and DSLs. All right. Oh, no. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a nice, healthy, healthy one. Yeah, it's been decent. I love it. Yeah. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I appreciate y'all vulnerability and allowing y'all selves to release regardless of the fucking cameras rolling, like I feel like I that look shit is ugly important. when I cry. No, I'm just <laughs> you you kept the same face. It was just good. A tear. Thank you. It was like <laughs> just a, it was, it was just a, a few tears. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. No, you kept the same face. You just let them roll. You were still Did cool. I? Yeah, thug life, nigga. I'll show you. Okay, bet. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to fight Did back. Too, I, mean, you I, know, like, fight I, I didn't oh, want to do because I know if I do it, she gonna her do ass it. Ass just glue. <laughs> like once, once they had like a little glow, I said, "Yeah, them tears about to." Because they were shining a little bit. But I, yeah, I said they about to start flowing. Thanks, Phoenix. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. Again, we appreciate you guys tuning in, being a part of the family, being the flies on the wall. We hope y'all enjoyed the conversation, felt the part of the conversation. Keep liking, commenting, sharing. Uh, if you want to see us elevate, <laughs> donations, donations. Thanks, Didi, for joining us. Yeah, you ain't got shit to say? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Shellisphere. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Welcome to the Shellisphere. Lend us your ear and take a listen. Whether you win the whip in the bed or in the kitchen. Ease until our conversation and babble higher dimensions. As we tell you our position and show you that we're no different than you. Cause we all connected When it comes to life and love We all been affected We all need some correcting No matter how you dress it So turn your TVs and your volumes up And listen to the Shellers perspective Welcome to the Shellers fear. 
There's a lot of love in here. You vapping in a different atmosphere. Welcome to the shadow sphere. Where we live, laugh, and learn. And you the light from the bridges that burn. Welcome to the shadow sphere. There's a lot of love in here. You vapping in a different atmosphere. Welcome to the shadow sphere. Where we live, laugh, and learn. And you the light from the bridges that burn. Just free zone.